Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be covering wallets and how to set them up. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I get these questions a lot. What is a wallet? How is it different than having my coins on an exchange? Is it more secure? These are all great questions and I love answering them. For the sake of what we have to cover today, I'm not going to get too technical about wallets because there's a lot we could talk about. But the most important thing to know is that they are the best place to store your coins. Bar none. They are safe because the only way someone gets into your wallet is if they have the keys, which are literally impossible to forfeit. Now, wallets take many forms. What I recommend is that for just about every coin, from Bitcoin to Ethereum, and in this case, Navcoin, they'll have an official software wallet. Software wallets are great because they give you not only security, but flexibility. Once you have it downloaded, you can send and receive coins from just the wallet. And some wallets, like Navcoins, have really cool features like staking and anonymized sending. So as you can see, software wallets are great, but you can also have your wallet on your phone, or you can have it on a Raspberry Pi, which I'll show you later once I get mine, or you can even have it on a paper wallet where your keys are printed out physically and you decide where in the physical world to keep them hidden. Now, wallets are great because they protect you against theft, which is always the danger when you keep your coins on an online exchange like Coinbase or Bittrex. But, and there's always a caveat, wallets do not protect you against loss. I'm gonna repeat that again. Wallets do not protect you against loss. When I talk about wallets, I inevitably get the question, but what if my hard drive crashes? Do I lose my cryptocurrency? The unfortunate answer is yes. When you take your coins offline, meaning you move them into a local wallet, be that a software, paper, mobile wallet, etc., you are becoming your own bank and you become the authority in protecting your coins against loss. By putting your coins in a wallet, you protect your coins from everyone, including yourself. There's a story of a man who accidentally threw away his hard drive containing 7,500 Bitcoins back in 2013, which is over $35 million today. He proceeded to dig through landfills trying to find it, and I don't want you to share the same fate. So thankfully, we have options. It is absolutely possible to back up your wallet, whatever form it takes. I'll show you how to do this with a software wallet once we get ours set up. Let's begin by downloading the Navcoin wallet. We'll go ahead and run it once it's done. I do have to mention that I'm gonna assume you don't already have a Navcoin wallet, but if you did, this is where I'd recommend you back up your existing one and you'll see in a sec where we import it. We'll just run through the install prompts here. Nothing should be surprising. Once we get to this point, you can see where you'd import an existing wallet. But for the sake of this video, we're gonna start fresh. There's nothing really you need to do on the next screen. It's just asking if you wanna add any additional Navcoin servers, but the defaults are fine for most people's purposes. Allow access in your Windows firewall and we're all set up. Sort of. The thing with software wallets is that in order to be able to send and receive coins to them, they need the entire blockchain history. It's what makes cryptocurrency work. All transactions are live on the blockchain and they live on the blockchain. So in order to interface with and namely to send and receive coins, you need to see it, all of it. In the bottom corner here, we can see that the Navcoin wallet is now going to sync with the Navcoin blockchain. It will take a while. On my fiber connection, it took me over two hours, but obviously your mileage will vary. Just let it sit for a while. There's not really much you can do. And because of that, I'm gonna wrap this video up because the things we need to cover requires your wallet to be synced. So just let it finish, and then once it's done, go ahead and watch the next video because we'll be talking about some cool stuff like how to back up your wallet, how to send and receive coins to your wallet, how to send anonymized transactions, and most importantly, 
how to earn dividends on your coins by staking. To literally get paid to secure your coins. It's a pretty good deal if you ask me. That's it for this video. Feel free to leave a comment below and subscribe if you found this helpful. Be sure to watch part two when you're ready. Thanks for watching.